What is going on guys, so today we're back in everyone's favourite game, that is Simple Rockets 2, and I've took on from the live stream where we created the starship, and I've built the heavy booster. Now I did do this, I did make a lot of Vizzy code and try to get the booster to recover, and this to get to orbit itself and everything, but it was very complicated and it just wasn't working, so I've scrapped that for now and we're going to fly it manual. You can see our little guys in there, we've got, we extended the view a little bit view canopy and you can also see if we zoom in he has some flight controls in front of him so we'll take a look at that once we get up into orbit but for now if we store the flaps and full throttle oh we we'll need to lock our head in full throttle there we go we are oh, full launch Now this is pretty cool because once we start with gravity turn the wings kind of take effect and they will start rolling the craft to the right direction which is good. You can actually see if we put on the wing vectors here. Uh, we start our gravity turn. You can see it's starting to produce lift in certain places. <laughs> Oddly enough. But yeah, this has got enough fuel, it should last until we get to orbit and we'll be able to bring the booster back as well. We'll do it in two parts, we'll do a quick save and a quick load because we won't have enough time to do them both together. There we go, see it's starting to right itself the right direction. It's not we haven't got the right heading going on here. Let's get the right heading going on, please. Thank you. So once we get down to about 20% fuel in the first stage, we'll cut the engine and separate. Now this does normally go a little bit smoother. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we haven't locked in our prograde header heading. Whoops. It's because we changed the heading there, rather than letting it go. Right, I'm going to have to move this manual a bit because we've messed up already. <laughs> There's a surprise. Uh, let's go a little bit more horizontal, please. And once we get to twenty percent, we will cut fuel. There we go. Cut the fuel. We'll do a quick save. Get this first stage gone out the way. There we go. Right now, let's point it back. We've got a lot of RCS. Well, not too much, and a lot of air. Uh, RCS port here. So it should control it pretty well. And if we just put on full throttle, let's look at our lateral velocity here, try and cancel it out and then rewrite it in the other direction without burning too much fuel. That should do us for now. So what we'll do, we'll just lock in retrograde and let's time warp round to the landing. We did go a little bit too far. Definitely did go a little bit too far. Should we see if we can try and get it over there? I don't know if it would be possible. We haven't got that much fuel. We've got a lot of delta V though, seeing that. Let's try and cancel out that velocity again. And 
that. A little bit further that way. There we go. That looks good. So we'll get that retrograde now. And we'll get ready to drop the landing gear. That is actually pretty spot on as well. Should be coming right over the launch site here. I think I did that quite well. Imagine if we get it on the launch pad. That would be incredible. But I don't think that will happen today. Let's get rid of some of that speed. Oh, got rid of too much of the speed. 90 degrees, please. I hear that it does that. It flicks it round for some reason. 400 meters per second left. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And down. Look at that. Now that was a job well done. Wasn't it just? I can't believe how well that worked. Right, so obviously that first stage is about to die so <laughs> we'll do the quick load I really wish you could pause the stage so you can continue it after you've you know you've done the first one but never mind right what we're gonna do here we're gonna turn off the sea level engines and keep the vacuum ones on Um, do 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 do. We'll, we'll run it at zero degrees for a couple of seconds just to get this further away. Just to get that waps further away so we can. Do an auto burn. We haven't got too much delta V in this stage, but this is only to get to orbit for now. We're not going to the moon or anything with it. And we're going to do some refuel emissions later on at a different stage link. So let's just leave that for now. We'll get ourselves a maneuver. What is going on? Get a maneuver set up. Try and do it as quick as possible. <laughs> there we go. That will do us roughly equal. So it'll be fine. Also deploy the surfaces as well. We don't need them stored anymore. Let's be out the atmosphere, which looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty cool. Burn should be ending now. There we go, and nicely done. So there we go, turn off the engine in case we mess something up and press them by accident. And then what we're going to do is go to this guy, who is me. Um, sorry, we've got that on the wrong setting. Uh, right, we're going to go in here. So if we go here, right, let's just let's just get rid of these now. Should we get rid of them? Yeah. And then we go to orbit. That shows us our orbit there, which is pretty cool. Navigation, nav ball, and the gauges. So there we go. Look at that. How cool is that? Having like a heads up display at all times. So we're going to time walk around to the daytime here. 
So we can have a look. And look at this. 360 degree view inside the cockpit here. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So there we go. How much fuel have we got left? We have got, if I just take back control of the ship. One vacuum engine, a thousand meters per second delta V. So it's not a lot to go anywhere really. We would need to be refueled with this craft. But we can land. And we shall land. So let's time warp round to. We're in the day time at the command center. And then what we're gonna do is. Do, 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 do. We're going to put a maneuver node here. We're going to pull this round. And we'll want it to be before the command center because it does glide quite a bit. This craft. So we'll try roughly there. If we can get a good enough landing like we did with the booster, that would be amazing. Oops, we've got the sea level engines on. We'll put vacuum on. doesn't really make that much difference they're not hugely different engines in all honesty I think that might be good that might be a good place because I tried it where it was here and I landed all the way over here so that might be okay so we'll get that auto burn What we want, we want the velocity sheet up so we can see. How it's going. We have not got a lot of delta V left. But this should slow us down enough. The, the fact that we've got the wings. Should slow us down enough. Right, what we're going to do, I think we'll do a quick save here. And then we can always have another attempt at this. So here we go. We'll go at two times speed because we don't need we don't need to be watching this in real time. So if we put the actually we'll put the wing vectors on, you can see how much lift these babies are producing. Oops, we're actually upside down as well in the cockpit. Never mind. <laughs> So as you can see, we're gliding quite a bit. Now we're gliding a bit too much, so we need to try and slow that down more. Maybe a bit more of a glide. A bit more of a glide. See, so we can, we can tinker with this to try and get ourselves in the right location. If at all possible. Try and glide. We have come a little bit early. Is that going to glide us? No. Let's continue with 45 degrees ish. I think we are going to come a little bit short. Let's see if that's moving. Uh, kind of. It is kind of moving. Correct the roll a bit. And it is moving, we are gliding. Put the wing vectors on again. We are getting lift there, you can see. 
We are getting a lift now. So we'll try and get towards the command center as best as possible. I believe it's where these two dots are. We'll go past it a little bit because once we drop these flaps it is going to want to drop rather than glide. But that is looking good. Go a bit steeper now. That's it. Keep it where it is. Where is the command center? Should be coming into view soon. I think it's actually over this side a bit. I think we're a little bit off to the right. Oh no, it's there. It's right there. Right, okay. Okay. Let's get this heading over that way. Can we? Is that going to work? Is that going to want to work? <laughs> um, I think we're close enough, aren't we? Right, so what we're going to do here... We don't have to face our retrograde marker. So what we're going to do... We're going to store the flaps... Oops, the wrong way. And we're going to turn to 90. slightly behind us so we can kill our lateral let's get rid of that lateral speed ESAP without using all our fuel we'll put the landing gear down whoops we hit the flaps <laughs> Concentrating too much on the details without looking at where the ground is. That is coming down nicely. Drop, drop the throttle because we're running out of fuel and we don't want to slam into the deck. <laughs> That's it. And there we go. We're not far from the command center, so that was pretty good. Look at that, we're down with 45 metres per second to spare. Oh my god. So we'll get rid of all this information now. Let's get... Let's get my guy out. EVA. Look at that. We've landed. If we open this, you can... Um, Oops, fall down. <laughs> and there we go, look at that. That is pretty damn cool. So yeah guys, if you did like and enjoy, please do subscribe and leave a like. Um, oops, I didn't realise we were in two times speed there still. We landed that in two times speed, jeez. So if you did like and subscribe, then, yeah, you get the picture. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.